Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with 2018 Panini Unparalleled Football 8-Box. Pick your team number 6 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to these folks for getting to the action and pick your team 6. There it is. Chad with the Arizona Cardinals last spot mojo. Good luck, sir. And there's everyone else. Thanks for getting into the action. All right, good luck, everybody. Here's the second half of the case right here. Pick your team six. All right. Two autographs and one memorabilia card per box on average. We have yet to see an above average box. They've all had three. DZ, we have hit uh, the case hits, the Galactics. We've hit, we've seen, so this is, we've done, this is break six. We've done five pick your team, so five inners. We've seen three. Uh, first one was Bradley Chubb in pick your team one. I think the second one was Lamar Jackson in pick your team three or four. And then I think we had one, we had a Derek Carr. So two rookies and one, one base. Eric Bailey saying hi to Nightbot. Yeah. You know, old Nightbot Jaspi helping me out, answering the frequently asked questions. He has, Nightbot actually has limited some of the frequently asked questions, ladies and gentlemen. So he's doing his job. Sometimes he gets a little uh, little aggressive later at night when I'm trying to get out of get out of here. And then Nightbot's like, hey, go to jaspyshobbyland.com, get in the action. And I'm just like, whoa, 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 Nightbot. We're trying to call it a night. <laughs> Nightbot. Easy. He gets, a little, he gets a little eager, but he's a new employee, so I don't blame him. All right, there's Brandon Brooks to 150. Also, Michael, I saw, if you're watching the replay of this, you're not going to really understand this, ladies and gentlemen, but if you're watching the replay, this is why you need to join the chat in the live stream Tuesday through Saturday, 3 o'clock Pacific six, uh, to 11 o'clock Pacific. But <laughs> Michael Renderman saying that you want me to read you a bedtime, a nighttime story to help you fall asleep? I could read Goodnight Moon. I could just record a video of me doing Goodnight Moon. You know, except that's out of 100. Maybe I'll do like, maybe I'll do Goodnight, Goodnight Unparalleled. I'll, I'll just call out all the, all the cases that we have back there. Goodnight Certified Football. <laughs> Goodnight Unparalleled Football. Goodnight Last Lonely Case of Flawless Football. With only 19 teams left on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Out of 25 on that. Good night, certified football with only seven teams left on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Good night, encased basketball that people love a lot sometimes and then not love for a few weeks. Out of 150, Josh Sweat. I can do that. Good night, sports cards. Good night, Jaspies Hobbyland neon sign. Oh, you guys, you guys can't, can't see the neon sign. Good night, cable TV. There's Khalil Mack attack. Out of 200, sign that man. We got out of 75. And we got Pioneer Penmanship, Ozzie Newsom. Old Browns legend, Ozzie Newsom. And current GM of the Baltimore Ravens. I think he's retiring this year. What? That's a one of one. Ozzie Newsom. Paul, the coach Nixon, with a, are you watching? Wake up, Paul. One of one Ozzie Newsome pioneer penmanship autograph with a Hall of Fame inscription too. There he is. There's Paul. 
All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. Paul's like, I'm up, I'm up. One of one. I, I didn't even notice that. It was kind of hidden in the reflection there. That is sweet. There you go. That, that'll we'll take a picture of that. Yeah, I almost missed that one. Kind of hard to see some of the numbers on this. Usually our shipping team would catch. I mean, that that still ship like that. But there's Judge Ito Smith, jersey and autograph. But yeah, last year. For Ozzie Newsom for the Ravens. So one last hurrah for Ozzie Newsom. Does he does he win a Super Bowl? Before you say it's crazy talk, folks, what are the odds on the Ravens winning Ravens winning the Super Bowl? I think they I think some books have released Super Bowl odds now. But it is a uh, – it's a contract year. It's a contract year for Joe Flacco. He seems to do well in contract years. There you – oh, yeah, sorry, Jacob. There you go. You got – Jacob Hill has the Falcons. You got the Judge Ito. Probably slightly better than the Browns' odds. Oh, Ravens were almost a playoff team last year. There's victorious Matt Ryan to 100 for Jacob. And Mike Kosicki, Jersey and Auto for the Finns. That'll go to Rick T with the Dolphins. Out of 100, there's Richard. This looks just so weird. That doesn't settle right. And I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not even a fan of the Niners or the or the Seahawks. It just makes my stomach churn. It would be like. Uh, I don't know what else would be. What else would be a weird thing? It would be like seeing. Clayton Kershaw in a Dodgers uniform. Ooh. You know, it'd be like it'd be like Michael Irvin in, in a Philadelphia Eagles jersey. Oof. Twenty-two out of twenty-five. Johnny Damon as a Yankee. Richard Matthews to twenty-five. That's for EA. There's Lamar Jackson. Rookie focus. And there's Auden Tate, 9 out of 75. We got Bright Futures. That's nice. Nice three-color relic. That's uh, 5 out of 50. Sweet Kareems are made of these. That goes to Brad H. with the Chiefs. Nice. Yeah, J Jordy Nelson does look kind of weird in a Raiders uniform, right? I think he looks good in it, but it just it just seems off. Um, I think Jimmy Graham also looks kind of weird in, in Packers gear too. There's Jared Goff to one fifty, and we've got Kurt Warner. No, not that Kurt Warner. Kurt with a C, 009 out of 149. Old Seahawks edition of Kurt Warner. That goes to EA. Got Ozzie Newsome, Kurt Warner. Yeah, Emmett Smith in a Cardinals uniform was kind of weird. It wasn't so bad just because, I mean, I don't know if the Cowboys and Cardinals really have a historical rivalry, right? I guess I'm speaking more in terms of like teams going to uh, 
teams going players going to rival teams. Richard Sherman to the Niners, you know. That kind of thing. Johnny Damon on the Yankees. Which looks kind of weird. I hope so, Daniel. As a Raiders as a long suffering Raiders fan. Definitely wanna definitely would like to see John Gruden finish what he started. He never should have been traded away. This is this is I love Al Davis, but those were those were kind of his crazy years. <laughs> DZ saying Amendola in a Miami jersey is it is is that really a huge Patriots Dolphins rivalry? <laughs> if it was like, I'm talking like, like Rob Gronkowski on the Steelers, like how like that kind of thing, like that just, or that makes you feel kind of uncomfortable in your stomach saying something like that. You're just like oh, that kind of thing. Is out of 200 and another old speaking of the Cowboys, another old school guy, pioneer penmanship, Vince Ferragamo for the Rams, EA with the Rams. Now, even worse would be Franco Harris in a Raiders jersey, Eric Bailey. Picking up balls off the ground all the time. I don't know, Michael Gooch is going to run to the computer and be like, whoa, 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 Joe, we've discussed this. Out of 100, Nick Chubb. There's Derek Carr. Out of 200. Like, Derek Carr in a Broncos jersey or something like that. Wouldn't that be weird? <sighs> Terrell Davis in a Raiders jersey. <sighs> Ido Smith, another one. Jersey and auto for Jacob Hill. There you go, Jacob. Starting your, your Ido Hill PC. I honestly didn't know Eric Bailey and Vanilla Gorilla that Franco Harris was even on the Se was even on the Seahawks. That feels like it would be very weird. <laughs> Out of one fifty, Breland speaks. But I'm talking like like big names who end up going to rival teams. That doesn't happen very often. I guess usually it happens when... I guess Oral Hershiser was on the Giants for a little bit. But but I guess... I don't think it... And I guess Richard Sherman isn't necessarily in... You know, he's sort of on the tail end of his career, especially after those major injuries. Oh, sorry, that Devontae Adams was numbered to 200. I guess it doesn't really happen a lot when they're in the prime of their careers where they go to, the, go to a rival, except for like Babe Ruth. Out of 200, die cut star factor Antonio Brown and... Victorious, Jared Goff, 23, Jordan out of 25 for the uh, Rams. Once again, EA with that one. Yeah, I couldn't get used to that. Peyton Manning in a Broncos uniform was was kind of weird. We got Marcus Kemp to 150. Once again, we'll, we'll sleeve and top load all of those numbered cards before they get shipped out so they're protected properly. Just in the interest of time, I'm going to breeze by them. Trying to think of others. <laughs> trying to think of others. I don't know. I guess 
far too young for this, but Willie Mays, I think, at the end of his career was a Met, right? That was kind of odd. Le'Veon Bell, Star Factor die cut out of 100 for Steel Curtain and the Steelers. Bright Futures, Jared Goff. Another Ram for EA. Oh, yeah. See, that's un that's got to be uncomfortable, too. William L. saying Sidney Crosby in Philadelphia Flyer Orange. Ugh. Like and I'm not, I don't even I'm not I don't follow hockey even that closely and that makes me that still makes me uncomfortable. Out of 150, Josh Harris. Yeah, Brett Favre on the Vikings. That was definitely weird, right? 10 out of 75, Ito Smith again. A couple Falcons inserts there for you, Jacob. Yeah, that was definitely uncomfortable. There's Sam Darnold, rookie focus to 200. Rick T and the Jets. Riley Ferguson for the Buccaneers. 64 out of 75 for Alex Lindsay and his Buccaneers. We've got Josh Sweat, who can use a little work on that autograph, Josh. Penmanship on that J is decent. Then you kind of mailed it in after that. Let's work on that this year. Let's, let's work on that. Let's work on that this season. I know you're trying to work on your your moves as a defensive end. You know you're trying to get yours. I get it. You're trying to get those get, get those guarantees in your contract. But in addition to working on your swim moves, maybe you can also work on the autograph this year. We believe in you. That goes to the Eagles. That goes to Vic. I believe in you, Josh. It's Bo Scarborough to 100. Rich saying, yeah, I died a little bit with, with Brett Favre. Right, James Harrison on the Patriots. That, that was weird. I couldn't wrap my head around that. Oh, Sam. Sam Darnold up in the house. Rick T with NYJ. The savior of the New York Jets, Jets, Jets. Sam Darnold, not numbered. But still nice. And there is Dante Pettis. That is a Galactic, ladies and gentlemen. Right? That's the case hit. It says on the back, too. <laughs> that goes to the Niners. Bulldog fan. Will Comstock with the... It's not even one per case. It's like one every other case. I think for rookies, it's, this is these actually fall one out of every six inner cases. And for the, for the, uh, the rest of the base set, I think it's one out of every three cases. So there you go. Nice. I don't know much about Dante Pettis and how he'll do this season, but who knows? Who knows? All right, halfway through this one, ladies and gentlemen. I see a lot of orders coming in. I see a decent chunk of orders coming in. I'm assuming they're mostly for, for the unparalleled. 24 left in unparalleled 7. 29 left in unparalleled 8. 7 left in certified football. Now, if you still want a break tonight, if you have the itch, I do. I certainly do. Let's get, let's get that certified football knocked out. There's only 7 teams left. That's it. 7 left. A few big teams still left. But I feel like we can do it tonight. If we fill that break, for those of you watching live, we're about 17 minutes past the hour. If we fill it by the top of the hour, we'll have time to do it. It'll probably be our last break of the night at that point, but we can make that happen. So give it a shot, boys and girls.
All right, we got Golden Tate to 200. Out of 150, Will Hernandez. And Rookie Focus, Josh Allen Relic. Rookie Focus Relic for John Samuelson and the Bills. We've not seen a John, or a John Samuelson autograph. <laughs> we have not seen a Josh Allen autograph yet, John Samuelson. <laughs> I'd be stunned if we saw a John Samuelson autograph pop out of here. I'd be like, wait, what? And then Samuelson pops in and he's just like, I'm on the checklist, bro. You didn't look. Out of 200, Sam Shields. Haven't seen Baker either. We've got Leroy Butler out of 100. And we've got... And we've got... Unparalleled rookie auto Jordan Whitehead for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That'll be for Alex Lindsay. We got Adam Zaruba, 67 out of 150. And Mike Kosicki, Impact, out of 75. Your patch auto, Mike White for the Cowboys. That'll go to David Duffy and the boys. Kimoko Toure out of 100. And for Jacob, we got Josh Harris out of 200 for the Dirty Birds. Three boxes go. Good luck, everybody. I saw, I saw I see a team move in a flawless football, boys and girls. And we were at 19 when we started the break. We're at 18 now. We can rally around that too. It's our last case of flawless football. All right. We got Pioneers, Mike Singletary. I want winners. I want people that want to win. Tim Brown. What was he pioneering? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. I like Tim Brown a lot. I don't know if he was a, a pioneer per se. Jersey Auto, Kalen Balaj. Kalen Bellagio going to Rick T and the Dolphinos. Zay Jones. What's Zay Jones doing lately? Well, what, what is his legal status, Zay Jones? There's Devin Bunches of Funches out of 75. Roquan Smith, Roosevelt Nix, that's a great name. I wish it was like Nixon, like Roosevelt Nixon. I want his name to be Roosevelt like Clinton Nixon, Jefferson, Adams, Buchanan, Lincoln. One, two, three out of 200, Elijah Lee. One, two, three, Elijah Lee and Lamar Jackson. Rookie focus relic for Rich and the Ravens. Eli Manning out of 150. 
And Marcus Davenport out of 200. And then we've got Ryan Izzo. Is that... Is that... Is he related to... Michigan State basketball coach? Coach Izzo? How many Izzos could there be in professional sports? All right. Next box. The uh, Izzo goes to the Patriots. Kip with the Pats. EA needs a need, need a penny needs a penny. Take a penny, leave a penny. That's right, John Tamison. A great man did once say, "H to the Izzo." He did. He did the uh, the the poet of a generation. He also once said, I'm not a businessman. I'm a businessman. So let me handle my business. Damn. He once said that too, which, I, which if you think about it, pretty poignant. There's Clay Matthews to 150. There's Bo Scarborough to 200. And is that, there it is. There's the Ronald Jones II that Alex Lindsay was looking for all night long. All night long, all night, all night long. Ronald Jones II, former USC guy, I think. There's Sam Shields to 100. There's Traquan Smith to 150. There's Gronk Star Factor die cut. And we got Riley Ferguson also for Alex out of 25. Cam Newton out of 75 and Deshaun Watson victorious. Are the Dodgers about to screw it up again, Daniel? I'm tired of this. How many runs have they scored in like the last five games? I want to say like four. <laughs> it hasn't been a lot. Like a few games here and there, I understand. <laughs> it's just getting ridiculous now. Jonathan Stewart. Do my Jonathan Stewart's a giant now? Thank God for unparalleled football. I won't even know this. Devin Funches, two hundred, and we got Minka Fitzpatrick autograph. Nice. Nice rookie auto for the Dolphins for Rick T. All right, last box coming up. Oh, Daniel, you said the magic words. They listen to you. They're like, oh man, we heard. <laughs> we were we were listening. They're like, I we heard Daniel Cornejo in the Jaspie's Hobbyland chat saying Dodgers bat needs to heat up already. And so that's when uh, <laughs> that's when Manny Machado decided to double, and then Matt Kemp decided to single and score a couple more runs. Three nothing Dodgers.
Now they now now they just the bullpen just doesn't need to screw that up. Like if this game ends four three, I might drive up to Dodger Stadium after work and just go right right up to the players' parking lot and just and just be like, you guys, come on, wake the f up, bullpen guys, come on, You're killing me here. All right. Is that a 200 Trey Quinn? This is the sh this is a Shine parallel, by the way. Remember that song Shine? Yeah. Whoa. Let it let your light shine. Remember that song? Old 90s song? An oldie song from the 90s? DJ Moore and Victorious Relic, LaShawn McCoy. Shady going to John Samuelson. Doing some shady things, maybe, allegedly, in the offseason. Right, Collective Soul, exactly. I know, you could tell by the spot on song that I did. The spot on. Singing of the of those guitar parts, Josh Gordon victorious out of two hundred, and Jamon Moore, just a just a J. Jamon Moore, you need to work on your autograph this season too. I like where you're going. That's decent penmanship. It's kind of an artsy artsy hand that you have there, but you you, you got to give us a little bit more. Where's the M? At least an M. Let's work on that first. Packers with that one. Chris Parent. It's a nice auto. We'll we'll root for him, Pat or uh, Chris. We'll root for him. Hopefully he makes it happen. All right, Harold Landry to one fifty. There's I have no I've this Aldrich Roja, Rosas Rosas out of twenty five, and that reveals another Ronald Jones for Alex. All night long, all night. And that goes to Big Blue. That'll be for Leonard and the Giants. A lot of kickers in this set. Wait, are they allowed to use face? Are they allowed to use FaceTime? Isn't that a is that a trademark of Apple? They just blatantly wrote FaceTime there. Out of 75, James Washington. <laughs> Legal did not proofread unparalleled, apparently. Out of 200, Neil Sterling. And there you have it, folks. Legal needs to look, look at the copy a little more carefully. I guess they didn't care about Aldrich Rosas. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. Another nice break in the books. We got that nice one-of-one one Ozzie Newsom. Which is pretty strong. There it is. One of one. Of the old legend. And there you go, folks. JaspiesHobbyland.com. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.